Hey Spicer fans, Zach Isley from the Day in the Garage here to talk to you a little bit about Ford Bronco 6th Gen front drive units. We're going to talk a little bit today about gear clearance to the carrier and what that means to you. What I have in front of me is a stock 4.7 ratio Sasquatch electric locker front drive unit. I'm not going to go into a deep dive about how to rebuild it or anything like that. I just want to talk to you about the clearance between the ring gear and the carrier. Let's open this up. So we've opened up our 4.7 ratio stock front drive unit out of our Gen 6 Bronco. And what I've put next to it here for comparison is the Ultimate Dana 44 front drive Bronco, what we call the carrier half. This is the carrier half, this is the cover half. And while they look very similar, there's a very important difference that I'm going to show you now. The depth between the, what we call the, the case half flange and the surface that the ring gear gets close to is very different from one case to the other. This is the stock 470 case half. We're gonna measure from the case half flange down to the surface that the ring gear gets close to. I'm gonna show you that measurement. Now we're gonna come over to our Ultimate Dana 44 carrier and we're gonna show you the difference. And it may not seem like much, but it's the difference between churning the oil and overheating it and burning up your axle or not. So now you're gonna ask me why that's important. The reason that it's important is because as the gear ratio gets deeper, 488, 513, 538, the ring gear has to get thicker because the pinion head gets smaller. And because the ring gear is getting thicker, it's getting closer and closer to this wall. As much as I didn't wanna to have to do it, we had to recast and remake this case half so that we'd have enough clearance to the gear. And it's not about simply fitting in the housing. It's about how close does that gear actually come to that surface. Because if you force oil into a very narrow channel, like you would have between the gear and this surface in a stock housing, you're going to shear the oil, heat it up, and literally grind it to where it's not effective oil anymore. You're gonna burn the oil and it's going to burn up your front axle. Now I'm gonna show you the difference between the stock carrier and stock gears and some of the deeper gears. And to do that, we're going to use a very technical method of showing you kids putty. Sorry girls, I'll buy you some more. We're gonna put the putty on the ring gear teeth. We're gonna put it in the housing and we're gonna put the cover on, we're gonna bolt it up so that the putty will spread out and it'll show you how much clearance there is between the gear teeth and the case. When you install the diff case, make sure the pin lines up in this groove down here so that it falls into place and this lines up as it's supposed to. So we got our differential seated. I'm gonna put the cover on, tighten a couple of bolts. All right, our cover is seated the whole way around. Let's see how our putty's doing. All right, you can see on our kid's putty here that the teeth don't even start to show through. As you can see, there's real depth of uh, the putty here between the top of the tooth land and what would be the case. It, it's Dana's minimum allowable clearance between the tooth and the carrier. And unfortunately, as this ring gear gets thicker because the ratio gets deeper, the tips of these teeth are gonna get closer and closer to this housing. We swapped our ring gear to a 513 ratio, and now we're going to put it into our stock 470 housing. We're gonna do our kids putty test again. We're gonna show you the difference. Add our cover, let's work it down. All right, we've got our cover on. We tighten just the two bolts. 
It's, uh, it's against all the way around the flange. Let's take it apart, see what Putty says. I don't know if you can pick it up or not, but you can start to see. You can see the impressions of the individual teeth and how very, very thin that is. You can see light coming through it. How very thin that is on this example compared to what we had before. And the whole reason I'm showing you this is to illustrate that if you try to force oil in a channel that small, because that ring gear is dipping into the oil galley every time and it's a paddle wheel and it's moving that oil through there and it's going to force that oil through that channel, you're going to shear the oil, you're going to heat it up, you're gonna decrease the life of that oil, you're gonna burn up your front drive unit. This is our Ultimate Dana 44 front drive unit carrier half that's new for the aftermarket. We're going to install our 513 gear set diff case into the carrier and see the difference in our clearance. So we've got a cover on and put the bolts in. So we've got the stock Ford cover, which is the same cover we use on the Alton Data 44 Advantech. We only had to remake the carrier side with the 513 ratio in it. Now we're gonna open it up, see what the putty tells us. Go right back to where we were on the first, nice and thick, lots of room there between the top of the tooth and the carrier. This shows why you should trust Dana Engineered products for your Gen 6 Bronco upgrades. For more information on Dana performance upgrades for your Gen 6 Bronco, visit SpicerParts.com.